Little guy, I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine and he shall be my Squishy. Come here, Squishy. Come here, little Squishy. First of all, you're nothing but a trashy hoe. Second of all, you're you suck dick. Third of all, you're not a buff ass bitch, you're a buff ass trashy hoe. <laughs> Instead of complaining about anything, learn to be thankful for everything. Hashtag speaking from the heart. B. Fletcher. He ruined my dream journal! I did not! Tuesday youth group cleaner than my new shoes. Getting good at thinking straight. Walls up, stay cool, wait till after high school, you know what they all would say. While all my friends are holding hands in hallways, I further hold in more to see. I'm hoping I will spend the rest of hallways, still wondering what it's like to be. Sixteen and in love, telling everyone I know the boy next door is the one. Sixteen is so dumb Busy kissing at the lockers while we should be at lunch And all that stupid shit kids get to get into growing up Yeah, I loved being sixteen but I never really was Sixteen and in love It's Pride Month, you know what that means. Everybody has to Venmo me. Um, this is how it works. <laughs> BB, that's not how you kiss. That's what the book said. What chapter? Three. All right, I stopped that one. Yeah, that's why. Like this. It's just really. Baby, like I feel like you're doing it wrong. Like you're supposed to pucker then lob and like close your eyes and then like, like that, not like like all over like. But that's more romantic. It's gonna break my neck. Oh, is this how you go? Oh, Bobazito. Yeah, I don't I can't even breathe. Like I don't even have time to I know because like, I'm stealing your breath from my cuteness. Get out of the car. Okay guys, I have something to tell you. So basically I was walking down the street minding my own fucking goddamn business holding my coffee, walking down the street, and then all these old men sitting down, like there's like 10 of them, tur start turning their heads and talking about me because I know they were turning their heads. And then I was staring at them to make them uncomfortable as I was walking past, and then I, was, I got really close to them just to make them even more uncomfortable. Basically, anyways, I went and got another coffee. I was coming back and I was wearing my sunglasses and my mask, and I saw all of them were looking at me. And then I saw all the bikes, and I because they, they're motorcyclers, and I was like, oh, okay, bitch. They definitely don't like my fabulousness. So basically, I was like, okay, it's time for a reveal. They're all staring at me. I'm walking down the sidewalk. Oomph, oomph, oomph. Take the sunglasses, whip it off, mask, stare at them. And then they all turn away because I made them so uncomfy. <laughs> Period, says... Gays be like, damn, if you're six feet tall and over, you could murder this bussy. <laughs> they ain't give no types of fucks at all. <laughs> oh...
Without moving your phone, show what your hacker would see or in. Things that definitely aren't gay, but give me big fat gay vibes. Pineapples. I'm sorry, but that is one extravagant hat. I've never seen a straight person wear a hat that extravagant. It's giving me very much design challenge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Also... A pineapple is a fruit? That's a little bit fruity, if you ask me. Hello there to my guys, gals and non-binary pals. This is your GT133 Pride PSA and gentle reminder to be considerate, kind and patient towards others when attending Pride events this summer. Pride is not always accessible to those attending, and not all disabilities are physical, and not all disabilities are visible either. So, here's some of the many ways you can make Pride a safer, more inclusive, and accessible place to others. Be sure to call into the comments section with some ways you can think of making Pride more accessible. If you feel your local Pride could be more accessible, then reach out to the event organisers, because it's important that everyone can celebrate and enjoy Pride equally. Here's how the Pride event itself can be made more accessible to people. Over to the weather. Thank you very much, Elia. A brief glimpse into the weather forecast for this month predicts plenty of sunshine and rainbows. So get dressed up for the sun and be sure to have fun. Just kidding about the sunshine, this is Britain. Back to the studio. I'll see you there if you can make it. Happy Pride Month, everyone. Oh, it's five o'clock. Candace, you ready? Martina, you ready? All right, girls, let's hit the road. Come over me, feels like I'm somebody else. So just don't get overwhelmed. Uh, <laughs> Help. Hey, could I sleep in your bed? I shit in mine. What the fuck is that fucking thing? What the fuck? Hello? Wait, wait. Chill. Scary. Yo, I'ma check his vibe. What are you? Yeah, what are you? Bad vibe! Wow, I didn't know it did that.